Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had strabismus surgery two weeks ago, so my eye is super bloodshot, so we have our glasses on today. But anyway, I have been growing out my beard for this video. Um, literally, Wasim was like, please stop saying that. <laughs> but I've literally been growing out like my chin and my neck hairs to try out my new Kenzie. So Kenzie is an um, at-home IPL device. IPL is intense pulsed light so it's kind of like a laser hair removal type device and i'm super excited especially with covid right now no one's going anywhere i have been getting like these weird stray little thick hairs this past like year year and a half and they're driving me insane and um they require so much maintenance so i'm really excited to just zap them away and they're not peach fuzz they're like thick hairs so i'm really um, anticipating great results. So I have all these little scars because um, these hairs are so thick I would always pluck them. Sometimes it would be stuck under the skin coming back like ingrowns and so I'd be picking at them and then as soon as I get like a scab I can't leave it alone. I will pick at it and pick at it and pick at it until it's flat. So now I have all these little beard hair scars so um, as I rid these hairs forever this problem will go away too. So we're nipping it at the bud. Just like with traditional laser, with IPL devices, same thing. You don't wanna pluck or wax or epilate your hair. You want to shave it down because you need that full hair follicle there. So I kind of like that this is my um, little case study because there was a lot of hair. I don't know if I would be able to notice right away if it's working or not, but since I have like 10 hairs all kind of spread out, I'll be able to see like really like how quickly they're coming back or slowly hopefully and um, if they're coming back finer or thinner or anything like that. So I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and shave them away. It's so funny. One time I had a just like a mask on, like a clay mask. And like most skincare, I work it down, you know, into my chest. And so I had all this like Play. My husband was like, are you getting ready to shave? I was like, who do you think I am? But now, I really do have a little beard. I'm not gonna run the device over this like one scab that is kind of like an open wound, it's healing. These are just marks, so that's okay, but I, I really don't wanna zap like exposed vulnerable flesh. This is what the device looks like. Has the power intensity button on the back. Press it to power it on. So now it's on. I don't know if you can see these lights, but a solid pink light means it's not uh, pressed up to skin. And then there's blue dots and it goes up to five. So I'm gonna start on one. This is my first time using it. I really wanna make sure I don't hurt myself, especially since I do have brown skin. I wanna be especially cautious. So I'm gonna start on Level one. If it doesn't feel like much, I will intensify it. Yeah, it's a solid pink light, and so when it's pressed against skin, it flashes. So that's what we want. We're gonna press it against our skin. I know I have a hair around here. Either you can flash it once, or you can hold it to pulse, and you can just keep moving. Since I have just little loner straggly hairs, I'm gonna flash it once. <gasps> I'm scared. Oh. No, that wasn't bad at all. So let's go to setting number two. Ooh, I could see that one. Here, I'm gonna cover this little open gash just so I don't burn myself. All right, that's it. You're just gonna unplug it and then take a cloth with a few drops of water and just clean off this window. Yeah, it definitely was hot when it did it, but it didn't like hurt. So for best results, it's recommended to use once a week for the first 12 weeks, and then after that, once a month for three months, or until you're satisfied, and then after that, just once every two to three months to keep it away. So I'm very excited. Oh, look at how much I've torn up this area. What the heck? Picking is my worst habit ever, so getting rid of these like coarse hairs will really help. Even if they come back baby fine, that will help, but 
I'm shooting for hairless. So regardless of what you're doing with your skin, you should always wear sunblock every day. But if you're using the Kenzie, absolutely wear sunblock. You're going to be more sensitive to the sun. You're going to moisturize after. Um, it's like 1 a.m. So I'm going to actually take off all my makeup and then moisturize everything down to my chest anyway. So that level 2 um, definitely felt like it was doing something. It was warm. I felt the pulse of light. Um, I think next time I'll do my first little pulse on a two and I feel confident that I can move up to three in my next session next week. Um, I just wanted to start at number one to be cautious because I am, you know, medium deep skin toned as well. But yeah, um, I would love to know if you guys have the Kenzie at home and what you guys think of it. I would love all the tips and recommendations. I'm super excited. I am going to keep checking in with updates. I am going to use it once a week for the next three months, 12 weeks, and um, I'm really excited to see some progress and let my skin heal and let these scars fade away. So um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I have a link below to check out Kenzie, check it out, and I will see you guys in my next video.